this section of the video today is for the assembly of the top shelf and the lower shelf of the table. And the first thing that we have to do for assembly is we're going to assemble the A and B and H part. We're going to build two of those. We're going to build one for the front, one for the back. They're identical. And the first thing you have to do is take part B, lay it on the table with the 7 16 holes up. And you're going to put all the 7 16 by 2 and a half inch dowels in. When you put them, before you put them in, you need to taper the ends, maybe sand them a little bit so they'll go down in there pretty good. It's mainly not for this because these are tap pretty easy, but when you're putting the other part on, but you'll uh, drive them in with a, tap them in with a hammer, mallet or whatever, uh, down to where they're all bottomed out. You'll take part A, this piece here, and you'll lay it on the table with the 7 16 holes up. And what you'll do then is take part B with all the dowels, turn them upside down, and guide them into the holes. And the taper makes them go into the holes a little easier than if they wasn't. But they'll, you'll tap them in basically like that. Use a little wooden mallet. We're going to get rid of that because I've already got one ready. You'll want to tap it down with a hammer until it's exactly three and a half inches all the way across. That's pretty critical when you're trying to put all this corner together. So anyway, you need to build two of these now, identical. The next piece that you're going to do is the end pieces. You're going to build two of those, one for this side, one for the other end. And you'll start out by putting D, part D, on the table with the holes up, of course. And you'll put the same 7 16 by 2 and a half inch dial in there. There again, need to taper it so they'll fit down in the hole pretty good. You might have to ta uh, tap it a little bit with a hammer. But after that, you'll take part C, which is this part, lay it down with the holes up. Take part D again, turn it upside down with the dowels so they'll fit right into the hole just like that, and tap it down. There again, I've got another piece already ready to go, and the finished product will look like this. There again, it'll be three and a half inches. That, that's pretty critical. So when you get those two parts built, you're ready to install your dowels. Uh, into part A and B and uh, so what you'll want to do is lay part A and B down with a half inch hole sticking up like this and I've got one semi built so what you'll do is basically you'll take dowels they're uh, the 19 half inch dowels half inch and you'll put them in each hole each one of the half inch holes. And uh, you'll just drive them down in there with a hammer, or they may go by themselves. It's just, don't know, it just depends on the size of the dowel, actually. Once you get them all put in, you'll have the other, other side of the table laying on the table, and you'll turn this one up. Turn this side up, place the dowels in the holes. Now this is a little, harder to do. It's a little harder to guide it. There again, you need to make sure you taper the ends pretty good. And when you get part of them guided, uh, to start in, you might tap it a little bit, work yourself across. <clears throat> Until basically they're all in the holes. You can take a rubber mallet, uh, hammer, Whatever you want to do, tap it down basically where you're going to have 20 inches when you finish. Uh, now you're going to have a little space left over for the buttons, but what you want to what you want to look for is to get 20 inches, which I've got right there. You want 20 inches all the way across. There again for your corners to meet good. Uh, 
after this part is assembled, you want to take your end pieces, you'll have one on both sides, and you'll want to put it in between your corner down here. You, you notice a hole, a 7 16 hole. This has got a hole in it. So what you want to do is take a two inch pin, part I, and slide it in the hole. And what you what you want to do is uh, take a hammer and tap it. If you've got if you've got a little tape around the end of it, it'll go in. It'll find this other hole better. So you want to tap it in until it's slush, basically. Now, <clears throat> when you put that, be, just before you put the pin in the hole, you may want to take some glue and just squirt it in the hole. That way after it sets up, it, the pin won't come back out. So you want to do both sides like that. You, you've got a hole on this side. Same way, it'll fit in a hole. <clears throat> You'll tap it. You'll find that other side of that hole and tap it in until it's smooth. There again, you want to put some glue in the hole to start with. Now, you want to do the same thing to the other end, just like this. And when you have that done, you're going to have a finished product. It's going to look like this. It's going to have one on both ends. Uh, you're, this, this is uh, completed until uh, we decide that when we get ready to put the legs on it, which will be a little later. But this is the finished product, and uh, and as you see that it's it's still it's 20 inches, just like we said. That's why you need to have you need to have this uh, 20 inches before you start to put it together. Now, when you want to build the lower shelf, you want to take part E which is this part here, laid on the table with the holes up. Basically like the top, you'll want to take your seven, uh, half inch by 19 and a half inch dowels and place them in the holes all the way across in every hole, drive it down. And when uh, then you'll take the other E, the other part E, lay it on the table there again, just like the first one, the, the top, you'll turn it upside down with the dowels, guide them into the holes. And once you get them all guided in, you'll tap it down there again. When you finish, you need to have 20 inches. Very important to have 20 inches when you get finished for that. So, I think this concludes the, the assembly of the top and the bottom shelves.